Hi everyone, I'm Liz Brown Swanson, bringing you an RPV TV update from in front of the historic Wayfarers Chapel, which sadly remains temporarily closed due to severe damage from the landslide activity that continues to create chaos in our city and a state of emergency in the Portuguese Ben landslide complex area. Now, Wayfair officials continue to work with the city and the community to find ways to reopen this sacred space that is a national landmark. Reverend Dr. David Brown, been here as minister since 2006, so this is my 18th season here in ministry. So obviously heartbreaking, sad, not only for myself uh, in ministry here, for all the congregants, um, but for the community and, and all who have just an incredibly strong memories and, and associations with here. I've been listening to voice messages, uh, people not even giving names or contact to give them uh, call back, but but they're just crying on the phone because of uh, the closure. So uh, that was voluntary, and uh, it was you know working with the the city of Rancho Palos Verdes. And yes, we do have to you know it's an act of God. We we do uh, off, um, invite all of you to pray for the slowing down, the stopping of the landslide here. The best information I have from our geologists is, you know, landslides go until, until they stop. We don't have any control over that. Um, and we do, you know, what we're looking at in terms of moving forward, putting in, installing French drains to get all the water to run off efficiently off of the property. Um, we got the dewatering wells. Uh, looks like they're uh, becoming activated, if not already active. And then we're looking at uh, what else we can do. And we, we do have a GoFundMe campaign set up, and that's gonna help us in this crisis to navigate uh, these uncertain times. So there were you know, several windows that, that uh, had either cracked or even, even shattered, and they have had to been uh, replaced. Um, and then you know, mostly in terms of what you can see, it's, it's on the ocean side where you can see that there's definitely been some, um, you know, looks like a crack in the foundation. And um, so that's part of what led to the decision to close the grounds and uh, the chapel. Uh, for local parishioners, uh, some exciting news. This coming Sunday, we're going to be meeting at uh, St. Francis Episcopal Church there in Malaga Cove. And I'll have more details that go out through our e-news, but it's going to be at 10.15 a.m. in the small chapel that they have set up there, if you've been there before. Just a great um, community reach uh, from local pastors here pulling together. It's the, the essence of the best of Christianity and, and fellowship and, and camaraderie in times of crisis that pulls communities together in, in these moments. And, and we're going to get through this together. Hi, John Cruikshank here, Mayor of Rancho Palos Verdes. Unfortunately, a Wayfarers Chapel announced that they are closing indefinitely uh, for all their services and all the other functions that they have up there at their site. Um, it's an unfortunate thing for our city. Of course, our inspectors were out there. Well, we did not yellow or red tag the building. They uh, voluntarily closed their facility because of the amount of movement that's occurred uh, at the Portuguese Ben Landslide Complex. Um, like I said, we're all saddened by that news, and we hope that they uh, can find a way to open in the nearest of future as possible, although I, first and foremost, we've got to be slowing down the movement of the landslide. And they also did announce that they do have some type of renovation plans that they have uh, had planned already in the future, and so they're going to commence with those as well. Um, but of course, the city is there to help them in any way we can uh, to use the resources and to help them get back up and open. The chapel predates uh, Rancho Palos Verdes Incorporation in 1973. It actually just recently celebrated 70 years of existence. So they um, are a significant landmark on the Palos Verdes Peninsula and actually in the city of Rancho Palos Verdes. So to to have them shut down is, is, is very traumatic to the community and we want to see the chapel uh, survive this this period and this crisis and be able to um, continue to be a service to the community and conduct all the d wonderful events and weddings and ceremonies that they do for uh, for generations to come. In terms of reopening, we don't have any idea at this point when that might be. 
Uh, for couples with our wedding ceremonies, we are working quickly to at least offer some outdoor offerings as the, the weather's getting warmer. We're looking at uh, some space in the, the grass amphitheater to set up a tent, to chairs, um, have the altar space, have music uh, out, outside. So it's still an incredible piece of property here with incredible views of Catalina and overlooking the ocean. And so we're, we're looking to um, solve as many things as, as we can. We also just got national historic landmark status um, December 11th, 2023, and we're hoping that uh, we can escalate this issue to Governor Gavin Newsom, um, even getting President Biden involved so that uh, maybe it's Army Corps of Engineers that also get out here and, and really take a critical look at what, how we can use every possible resource to save this national treasure. And on a personal note, I was honored to work at this chapel for several years overseeing community events and experience firsthand the love and joy our community and visitors from around the world feel when they come to this sacred space. And if you want to help support the effort to reopen this chapel, you can donate to their GoFundMe page, which is listed on our city's website at rpvca.gov and wayfarerschapel.org. And we all look forward to the day that the Wayfarers Chapel is reopened. Thanks for tuning in, and remember, we are RPV together.